Bam, peeps. Welcome to Stock Science. Guys, I just want to do a quick update on crypto. I want to do a quick update on crypto. Right now, the stock market is closed. Cryptos never, are never closed. It never stops with crypto. So let's talk about cryptos a little bit. And this morning, we're on a bounce back up. We're on a bounce back up, guys. And look at this. It seems like it's been doing this for the past couple days, guys. It keeps... We're gonna take a we're gonna really take a close look at Bitcoin and at Dogecoin because I've had a good good eye on them for the past week. So about a week ago on the 20, I think they started on the 27th. It did start on the 27th. Cryptos crashed. They went to a little crash, crashed down all the way, and it jumped. Bitcoin went from pretty much a high of 52,000 to a low of 45, which that's quite a bit of a decline, really. If you take minus 3,000, it's 6%. So it, it dropped more than 10% over a week. More than 10% really. And as you guys can see, every drop, it tried to shoot back up around 48,000 and then drop back down to almost 45 and keeps coming back up to almost 48,000 and then drops back down. And if we look at this morning, what happened this morning, if you look at the one day graph, same thing again. And it's been like this for the past three days really, where it shoots to almost 48 and then it seems like it's the resistance line at 48,000 bounces back down so what I've been doing guys is I bought 500 I have $500 worth of Bitcoin that I bought right now on the last dip the last dip was a yesterday or two days ago and I bought it at 46,500 my whole idea was to sell at 48 right at the right around 40 47 900 the high 47 I missed this morning the wave when I woke up guys and I checked, it was down to 47,600. And I figured it was just gonna spike back up every single time to the past couple of days that it's been spiking up like two, 3%, then it just drift back down. And then it spikes back up to that 48,000, drift back down. So what I've been thinking is, buy, selling at 48, buying back at 47. Selling at 48, buying back at 47. And just locking in a small profit. Because every single time you do that, brings your average cost down. My average cost not that long ago was around 43, 40, uh, 50, uh, 53, 54,000. I did bring it down to 48,000, which is good, which is awesome. Um, I just missed the window. It's been two, three days where I just, I really noticed this pattern going on guys between 47 and 48,000. It just bounces back off and up and down, up and down. And I see like, it seems like there's a little margin of uh, money to make there. Same thing going on with Bitcoin, guys. They're all cryptos right now. There's no major news on one crypto. So they're all following the same trend. When one crypto, Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. When you, all the cryptos are following the same trend. Not exactly at the same pace, but they're following the same trend at the same moment right now. Same thing going on with Dogecoin, guys. It seems to be bouncing between 17 cents. Sometimes it hits a little bit under, it hits the 16 to 17.6 uh, 17.6 it, it hit 17.6 this morning and then I mean you see guys like three waves of just going up 9.30 all the way up to pretty much 12 o'clock just going up and it went from 17 cents yeah it went from 17 2000 at 9 o'clock to 17 6000 which is a 4000 gain which is over 2% nice little gain this morning but then once again if you look at the week graph it's been doing the same bounce off than bitcoin it started on the 27s guys at 19 cents we were we were trading dogecoin at 19.3 down to 16.5 on the 29th and then it's been bouncing back off 17.5 drifting back down all the way up to 16.6 and then right now we're at 17.4 so it's just been going up and down up and down up and down for three days and I really see this as just an opportunity to lock in profit. Because if you look at the week graph, a week is not that long ago. We're at an 8%. Look at this. Even at 17.4, which is a bounce back off right now compared to last night or this morning, we're still down 8%. We're still down 8%. And 19 cents, if you look at a month ago, we're down 20% almost. So I think we kind of hit the bottom with all the bad news with the inflation with interest rate they announced that they're going to go back up around march april no 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 i think we kind of this shows that we hit the bottom we hit the bottom in the resistance just then it's just a matter of how long are you willing to wait to cash out your money 
but I think this is a really I think the buying opportunity right now I mean it's it's clearly like when they shoots back down and it's around 17 cents that's when it's time to buy if you can score any lower you're doing really really good Bitcoin same thing around 47,000 if you're scoring it at around 46 mid 46 or under it's kind of a no-brainer right now it seems like it's constantly bouncing back off and then it just depends on how much you're trying to lock in how much profit you are trying to lock in i don't want to talk about stocks guys the stock market is closed it'll open up back tomorrow hope everyone had a really awesome happy new year a great finish to 2021 let's hang in there because the stock market is a little iffy it's a little bit of an iffy start to, uh, to the new year but it also means opportunities buying opportunities as long as you don't panic as you don't sell really so guys i'm out make sure you're subscribed to the channel before anything else happens today subscribe and have yourself a beautiful day i'm out